short video showing how to use the R01 readout meter with bell and gasset circuit setters. Always make sure that you read the instructions. Uh, the link is right here. You can also search the web under bell and gasset readout kit and you will find the site that contains the instruction manuals. Very specific safety instructions that should be reviewed prior to using a meter. In those instructions, it talks quite a bit about temperature. Make sure that you're using proper personal protective equipment when you have higher temperatures, and even with lower temperatures, some fluids may contain chemicals which be harmful to you or potentially just stain your clothes. But in either case, you want to be careful. Uh, make sure that you are careful when you're squirting water out, when you're hooking up equipment, and don't forget that the metal parts can get hot. So you're going to see a quick video here on the use of a pressure gauge with a couple of shutoff valves that are contained in the R01 readout meter. We use the hydronic indicator by Flow Conditioning Corp because it is a highly accurate gauge it reads in both feet and pounds, and it has an adjustable scale so that once you get the high side reading, you could set this scale on zero, wherever the needle is, and then when you put the low side in, it'll read backwards and give you the differential. When you're hooking up the meter kit to the circuit setters, make sure that these probes, the Bell & Gossett RP probes, go directly in to the circuit setter. Don't put them in on an angle or pull them out on an angle. They may break and uh, you could end up with leaks. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the R01. Hello, my name is Gary Rutman of the R01 Detman Company. And in today's short video, we'll be discussing how to set up a circuit setter. We will read it, adjust it, and set it. This particular coil that we have here in the example is set at wide open or 0% closed. According to the blueprints, the coil was supposed to be set for 11 GPM. So we are going to use a, R, a Bell & Gossett R01 readout meter along with the Bell & Gossett circuit setter balance calculator. Side one on this unit will be for presetting circuit setters. Side two is the side that we'll be using for taking readings across the valve. Today's example is using a inch and a quarter circuit setter. The circuit setter was introduced in 1968. It became the standard for proportional balancing. The circuit setter comes with a calibrated nameplate. It comes with integral test ports, high side and low side, as well as a drain valve. I will be connecting to the high side of the system and to the low side of the system. So, okay, now that we are looking at the system, we've connected our high side hose to the high side readout port. Now we're gonna remove the cap to the low side with the valves turned off or shut off on the RO meter and then take and then flush the low side line. Okay, so now we've connected our readout probe and hose to the high side of the balance valve. We will open up the high side valve on the RO meter and the low side valve on the RO meter. That way we'll push any air that may be in the hoses so that we can get accurate readings. Also, I wanna mention the hoses are color coordinated. The blue goes on the high side and red goes on the low side. So now we're gonna flush the hoses. I'm gonna open up the high side valve and the low side valve. And we're gonna to wanna to push water out of the hoses. Now that we've done that, I'll close everything off. I'll connect the low side probe and hose to the low side of the balance valve. Okay, so now that we have our high side and low side hoses connected to our balance valve, we're actually going to open up the high side, which essentially is the system pressure, but more importantly, we're going to get a feet of head loss in H2O. 
Then we're gonna close that valve and we're gonna open the low side which will indicate our flow rate in the open or 0% closed setting that it is currently in. So now let's take those readings. I'm opening the high side valve and it indicates 24 pounds, but more importantly, 56 feet of head loss. Now I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna open up the low side and the low side is indicating 38 feet of head loss. So that is a differential of 18 feet of head loss. So now we're gonna take that and we're gonna use the Bell & Gossett balance valve readout calculator. Okay, now that we have our differential in feet of head loss in H2O, we're going to go to side two of the circuit setter balance valve calculator. Here, we have the hairline, which indicates the position of the balance valve and the percentage closed. We have an inch and a quarter circuit setter, so we have to line up the hairline with the 0% closed. Now that we've done that, Basically, we are mimicking the position or the setting on the valve in the coil. Now, we're gonna to turn to the lower side of side two of the circuit setter balance valve calculator. Here, it indicates the gauge reading of head loss of feet in H2O, and below that, it indicates the GPM of flow. So, based on our 18 feet of head loss differential, it indicates just below that, that our valve has 33 GPM. The set point was 11 GPM. Now what we will do is we will climb the ladder, begin to throttle or increase the percentage of valve closure to reduce the differential pressure until we get to our set point of 11 GPM. This may take several readings but we will get there shortly. We continue to close our valve or increase the percentage closed until the last reading was 23 feet of head loss on the high side and 19 feet of head loss on the low side, which provided us a four foot of head loss differential. When I used the lower section of side two, that indicated 11 GPM at four feet of head loss. So for the final reading, we had adjusted the circuit setter and the balance valve calculator wheel to match the circuit setter. We started by looking at the top at an inch and a quarter circuit setter and it was set at 15 degrees closed. Now we move down to the bottom of the wheel, keeping it at 15 degrees, an inch and a quarter. And then we read four feet on the meter. And we look at four feet on the wheel and read down. And we clearly see that we are at 11 GPM. So we've achieved our set point of 11 GPM. The last thing we need to do is remove our test hoses, cap our ports, readout ports, and adjust our memory stop to 15%. That concludes the short video on balancing a balance valve. I certainly hope it was helpful and informative. Please don't hesitate to reach out to the RL Detman company I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.